Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between the Bachelor of Arts and the Bachelor of Science. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the difference between the BA and the BS. So when you first enroll in university, you'll be forced to select a degree path, either a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science. But you're typically expected to make this kind of decision without knowing a lot about the difference between the two. Deciding between the BS and the BA is an important decision, and it can impact the opportunities that are presented to you in the future. Here's the difference between the two. A Bachelor of Arts degree focuses on general education. If you opt for a BA degree plan, you will take a more general, wide variety of education courses and less courses focused specifically on your major. The advantage to a BA is that it does give you more flexibility. You'll be able to select from a big, huge number of classes in everything from foreign language to music to history. A Bachelor of Science degree puts the emphasis on STEM fields. That means there will be an emphasis on math and science courses, as well as on lab sciences and research. A BS focuses more on the area of study, so you'll take more courses directly related to your major. BS degrees are only offered in certain fields, specializing in STEM, like computer science, nursing, physics, or of course, psychology. The biggest advantage to a BS degree is the highly focused classes you'll get in your particular area of study. These two degrees emphasize different strengths. A Bachelor of Arts degree is going to provide you with a well-rounded education. You'll be taught how to write and to communicate effectively with others, which is certainly a valuable skill out in the workforce. A Bachelor of Science teaches you how to think analytically, how to think like a scientist. With so many courses focused on your major, you will end up with more knowledge in your chosen field, and that will make you a really valuable candidate on the job market. In most cases, the degree you choose should be based on the type of career path you see for yourself. That means you need to make sure you do some career research before making a decision between the two degrees. Go online, do a job search for the type of career you someday want. See what kind of degree is required. You can contact people who are already doing the job in which you could someday see yourself. Find out the degree path they chose and the benefits of that degree. If you are considering things like graduate school, go to the grad school requirements and see which type of degree is preferred. Most importantly, don't let anyone else make this decision for you. Listen to advice, but making a well-informed and researched decision on your degree path is the first step towards taking charge of your education. Instead of getting this degree and taking certain classes to check off just boxes on a sheet of paper, or maybe because your academic advisor suggested it, if you put in the work researching the right degree for you now, you'll be able to know why you're taking those classes and why exactly they are valuable for you. You'll be able to take ownership of exactly what you're doing and why. If you want to know more about how to improve your education, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!